You know, it's very interesting. Uh, I thought about human creativity the other day, so here we go. Get ready for a delirious Vladimir talk of uh, human behavior th analyzed through Minecraft. Uh, I did not want that fucking block there. But uh, I was thinking about the Egyptians, you know. How do they build such big pyramids? Some people think that uh, it is aliens that visit us and they give us this technology. Or not maybe the technology, but they place these gigantic stone structures because people find it unbelievable that uh, ancient humans are able to move such massive stones and also create such awesome geometric figures on the ground that when analyzed from above make cool pictures like sky, sky birds and um, not sky birds but the sand bird like Super Mario Sunshine uh, it is very nice out here with all the trees maybe we can make a big tree house or something uh, it might be an arrangement uh, could have the third floor go out to the tree houses or go off to the water slide that would be very fun I think we'll do that so anyway um, yes yeah, so how do uh, how do this how does this happen how do people actually uh, create the pyramids and how do they create these cool ships in the sand without the use of technology and GPS and uh, steamrollers and crap like that you know and well I like to think of it like this you know in Minecraft what do you start out doing well you start out just barely getting by you start out just trying to figure out the world and hiding in the caves maybe you're not quite building a home yet you're basically utilizing the geography to uh, or not geography topography getting my is mixed up but uh, you use the topography of the land for your home more than you do building which is fine because you know it's the first thing that's some of the best survival skills you can use early on in this game but what people don't really think of is used to utilizing life or looking at life as a game and uh, <clears throat> I should probably get something to drink I'm getting uh, quite cotton mouth here talking so straight in mass recordings but anyway you know people they have to start off life in caves and they have to ward off the baddies and back in the day maybe it was a saber-toothed tiger you know and now it is creepers but once people figure out how to get survival down, what do they do next? They do like what I am doing here. They build fantastic structures. They start coming up with cool ideas. And we are all out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a little dirt staircase right down. Hopefully not fall off. That would be an opportune situation. So as soon as people figure out how to survive in Minecraft and they're like, all right, this is cool, but uh, there's got to be more to do, then people start investigating. And people build bigger and huger and better structures, things that seem just impossible. Like, who would waste their time building such a structure? I mean, hey, somebody could easily come on this channel and say, Oh, what a loser Vladimir Z is. Look at how much time he spends on Minecraft. And he could actually measure that out and make me sound pathetic. But I don't care. I'm having fun. And back in the day, that was the fun thing to do. A lot of people think that it was slaves who built the pyramids. Well, that is actually just a myth. But uh, what is really... What happened with the pyramids is building teams would get together. You know, like people do on the servers. It looks like, uh, what are you doing with the glass? You're pretty much out of burning power, aren't you? How about you? You're done with the glass too and you're out. That is fine. But uh, just like Minecraft servers, these people would get in building teams and they would build these monstrous figures in the desert. And, uh, you know, it would be done as competition. It would be done as a fun thing to do. So I'm not sure how it all got started that it was slavery. 
but hey, what the fuck do I know? I wasn't there either, so how much uh, how much can I say that it wasn't? But it's another viewpoint to consider, at least. You know, not that people were being forced in any way to do these things, but... Ah, oh, crap, it is almost dark out. I don't want to go all the way back up there. I want to actually try out my bed tonight. So we will wait for the night. We will look through our skylight. We keep talking about the pyramids. But, uh, you know, it is something to consider. Uh, you, this is not uh, people always having to be forced or always having to be compensated for them to do amazing, incredible things. Really, the human spirit and what makes us so interesting in evolved monkeys is that we do these crazy things, you know, we work with our hands and our mind and our eye coordination, our stereoscopic vision, it helps us craft things and not only our outer vision looking into the world but our inner vision that makes us build these things the inner brain, the inner thoughts that say I bet this would look cool, let's give it a shot so that is really something uh, before I go to sleep I'll go have a sword in hand just in case <sighs> successful night's sleep that is the best thing to know hopefully that will be the last of any fuck ups screw uh, I, screwing up my night's sleep I was trying to say screw spawning and uh, did not know where I was going you get out of here you're not coming in here I can tell you that much But, uh, yeah, you know, it, it, we are really interesting creatures, bottom line. And I don't think that uh, people need to be forced all the time into doing these kind of things. When you think about it and you play Minecraft, I know it is not as difficult as perhaps lifting, you know, a thousand pound gigantic bricks on your back. But think of the camaraderie and, and satisfaction of getting that structure built. You know, sure, I'm, I'm not doing all that kind of physical labor, but I am taking the time out. I am uh, thinking about what I want to do. It is just a more modernized way. You know, life evolves. We, don't, we no longer have to carry those kind of bricks. We can use machines. We use our tools. I think I'll put one more layer of wood. And then construct a whole layer of glass to have a whole section that is made of windows. But uh, you know, human ingenuity, it, I really feel it can get taken granted for. Crap. Yeah, so those were some thoughts I had spawning from uh, comparing life to Minecraft. And just realizing that people are more creative than we let on. You know, it, it, I think that anybody can do what I am doing here. It is very simple in one sense. And then, I mean, for other peoples, it might not be so simple. Maybe other peoples not like to speak endlessly like I do. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, pretty much in my Let's Plays, I try not to uh, have too much silence. I like to have it the flow of uh, some kind of conversation still going, even though I know it is with myself. And uh, I say, well, what am I doing? How can I commentate on this? I'm, I'm laying down blocks right now. Block, block. Block, block. Like, there could be that kind of commentary I could do. But really, I know that on the other side of this, on the auditory and visual side, I have people who are being stimulated by the thoughts that I'm speaking, and they're enjoying my accent. And, uh, yeah, the, you know, you should come onto the live cast of Diogen Z this Friday. Uh, hopefully if everything goes well uh, it could be this Friday but uh, big discussion on Vladimir Z and, and my uh, interaction with Dio I, I've heard some funny things in the comments uh, suggestions of insanity and split personality things like that so those kind of topics we'll address on the live cast this time around so it's all good fun times but uh, you know I try to always keep the the audio going whether it is me rambling like I'm doing now or uh, talking about interesting topics or things we will build next 
because I know you guys appreciate it and I feel that uh, you know there's a listening value I I feel that I am very honored to have you listen to this kind of crap I spew from my mouth and to actually find it entertaining that's even better you know so I respect your time and I don't want to waste it by just showing you half of the experience you know there's there's a lot of let's players or maybe they're not let's players I don't know but uh, just tons of gameplay footage which is good in itself in one way but in another way when you want a commentary especially when it comes to Minecraft especially Minecraft I feel definitely you want a per type of personality you want to get an idea of the person's story you want to get an idea of who they are why do I care that they're building things you know it is like a new form of television and you know we could probably I bet we have enough glass blocks to even go a second level of glass so let us do that but it is new method of entertainment it is new method of inter interaction and uh, I just always love to step back and be sure that I'm giving people uh, a good experience whether it is uh, being a paid for or not you know I mean most of the things I do are for free I ask for simple donation when it comes to if you want me to do a let's play that at the moment comrades I just don't have money for because I buy 3DS and the games they cost like uh, 40 bucks I only got pilot wings I, I kinda wanted Ridge Racer I kinda wanted Super Monkey Ball but for the moment I am just satisfied with pilot wings and uh, you know doing walkthroughs doing let's plays and just living life I don't have as much time for games just pure games you know out of enjoyment so uh, I don't even bother with Ridge Racer so in a, in a certain respect it is good because uh, my games they are they last me longer than they used to but in another sense it does not change the fact that I'm fucking poor at times and if you guys would like me to do another let's play the game that's coming out uh, fairly soon don't know when this episode will be out who knows it might be out and that game that I'm speaking of Portal 2 will be out but uh, you know I get enough money for the game I, I play it for you and I really uh, I think that is a good relationship to have with the viewers uh, probably go back around with another wood level right yeah we'll do that right now I don't think anything could hop in here I highly highly doubt it